turkey is an unclean bird and it's among the birds we are told not to eat in Leviticus chapter 11. In Leviticus chapter 11 we are told we are told of the birds and other creatures that are unclean that we are not supposed to eat and the ones that we are supposed to eat. Uh, before we go into Leviticus chapter 11 take a good look at this picture. This is the picture of a turkey and please take a good look at the head of this turkey. You can see that it has a red head which is a typical of every other turkey out there because turkeys usually have a their heads are usually red and they usually have a bald head like you can see on this turkey. And here's another picture, a picture of another turkey. You can see it's the same thing, it has a red head and a bald head. And here's a picture of another turkey, same thing. So this is your average turkey, this is what a turkey looks like. Bald head, a red head and a bald head. Now here's a picture of a vulture. Take a good look at the at this picture. This is a vulture that you're looking at in this picture. Now I know you're you're wondering at this by, by at this time you're wondering. You're probably wondering what the hell does a vulture have to do with a turkey? Well, take a good look at the head of this vulture. You can see that it has a red head and a bald head. There's no hair in the head of this. In this turkey and it's it's basically identical with with this vault this vulture is identical with the, the the turkeys you saw on those pictures they are basically of the same family they are the same thing turkeys and vultures are of the same kind they are you know turkey is a turkey a vulture is a vulture but they are of the same ki kind. That's why they, they look identical in terms of their, their physical future, in terms of you know their head and their, they look the same. So let's go to Leviticus chapter uh, Leviticus chapter, chapter 11 from verse 13 to 19 is where you will find the, the commandment about clean and unclean birds the ones that were supposed to eat and the ones that were not supposed to eat. And Leviticus chapter 11 from verse 13 to 19 lists the, name, the names of the birds that we can we cannot eat, birds that are unclean. But of course, in Leviticus chapter 11 from verse 13 to 19, the names of birds that you read in that verses, they are not the names of all the birds in the world. No, 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 they are not. What the Most High did is that he chose, he chose certain birds like eagle, like vulture, like kite, uh, like pelican. He chose them and then said, do not eat this bird. Don't eat them and don't eat, uh, don't eat any other bird that looks like them after their kind. So if you look, if you look, you're going to see uh, after its kind. If you look at uh, Leviticus 11, 11 verse 13, it says, And this you shall regard as an abomination among the birds. They shall not be eaten. They are ab an abomination. The eagle, the vulture, the buzzard, the kite, the falcon, after its kind. And it goes on and on and on and on. So we are not supposed to eat these birds. And after their kind and every other bird that looks like them, we are not supposed to eat that. Let me give you an example. Uh, a, 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 a pigeon and a dove is of the, same, of the same kind. A pigeon is a pigeon. Here's a picture of a pigeon. A dove is a dove. And here's a picture of a dove. But they are of the same kind. And a good example of this is in, in Leviticus chapter 12, verse 8. In Leviticus chapter 12, when a woman after child's birth, when a woman after she after giving birth, there's a number of days that she's supposed to be unclean. 
and at the end of that number of days she's supposed to come to the temple with a with a sacrifice for her for an offering to offer an offering so that she can become clean again because she's an, she's unclean now she's supposed to bring a lamb but the most high says that if she cannot afford a lamb she can also bring in two doves or two pigeons this is leviticus chapter uh, 11 verse verse uh, verse leviticus, leviticus chapter 12 verse 8 so she she can either bring in two doves or two pigeons and that will be fine for her sacrifice to for her to become clean again so doves and pigeons are of the same kind and they look alike just like turkey and vulture are of the same kind they are of the same family yes you can see in the pictures and in Levit in leviticus chapter 11 verse 13 the most high tells us that we are not supposed to eat vultures and after their kind so not just vultures but any other bird that is of the family of vultures after their kind so so vultures and turkeys are clearly of the same of the same family of the same kind and this is the reason why we are not supposed to eat turkeys because they are they are an unclean bird they are unclean and we are not supposed to eat that so if you look at in in in, in Leviticus chapter Leviticus chapter 11 verse 9 the most high tells us he what we can eat in the ocean and the things that we cannot eat he says whatever has fins and scales in the ocean we can eat that but anything that does not have fins and scales we cannot eat that it's an unclean to us we're not supposed to eat that so that includes shrimp lobster shark and what every other creatures in the ocean if it does not have fins and scales it's unclean we cannot eat that and the reason why he narrows it down this way is because there are thousands of creatures in the ocean there is no way all their names will be fitted into the bible that is why the most high chose he he simply says anything that has fins and scales you can eat whatever has no fins and scales you cannot eat that it's unclean it's exactly the same thing he did with the birds so if you read in leviticus chapter 11 verse 13 to verse 19 it's the same thing that's the what that's the reason why you're not going to find the you know the word turkey or chicken in that in that um in that verses in te, verse 13 to verse 19 but what he did is that he chose specific birds and he said do not eat this bird and after their kind don't eat eagle and after 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 its kind don't eat kite and after its kind don't eat a pelican and after its kind and certainly don't eat a vulture and after its kind so vultures and turkeys they are of the same kind and we are not supposed to eat it because it's an unclean bird so our heavenly father told us don't eat vulture and after its kind don't eat kite and after its kind don't eat you know vulture and after its kind so vulture and turkey is of the same kind as you can see you can see by what you see with your eyes they look alike now people are going to argue well what about science 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 shows that they are not who who gives a damn about your science your science doesn't care about the most high science that you're talking about came from the hidden we can't let the hidden tell us define for us the word of the most high your so-called science come from the gentiles from the hidden so we're going by what the most high told us don't eat vulture and after its kind there are other things you can eat you can eat beef you can eat goat 
You can eat goat meat, beef meat. You can eat chicken. You can eat all these other birds. But turkey is of the same family as with vulture. That's the reason why we should not eat it. And it's not a coincidence that the Gentiles, the heathen, the Americans, the Europeans have chosen turkey to be the bird that they eat on their so-called Thanksgiving. Think about that. It's not a coincidence. You know that this world is run by Satan. You do understand that, right? 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Satan is the god of this world. 2 Corinthians 4, 4. Job 9.24 Job 9.24 The earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. Satan controls this world. In Revelation chapter 12 verse 9 He said that Satan has deceived the whole world. So I, you have to understand it's not by coincidence. It's not a chance. It's not by coincidence that they choose to eat turkey on their so-called Thanksgiving. Who are they thanking? When they do their Thanksgiving, who exactly are the heathens thanking? Who are these infidels thanking? Because they don't believe in keeping the law of the Most High. They don't give a damn about the law of the Most High. They don't keep the commandment of the Most High. They don't acknowledge our Creator. They don't keep his commandment. They don't care what the Most High asks us to do. They don't give a damn. They don't care. So who are they thanking? They are thanking Satan, their father. How can you do a thanksgiving without thanking the Most High? How can you have a thanksgiving holiday and you're not thanking the Creator? Are they thanking the Creator? You can deceive yourself. You can lie to yourself and tell me, well, they don't, but I do. Stop joining these heathens. Learn not the ways of the Gentiles. Learn not the ways of the Gentiles. Learn not the ways of the Gentiles. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2. We must stop following these heathens. You are going to follow these heathens to hell. If we don't stop following these heathens, we are going to follow them to hell. If we don't stop following these heathens, we are going to follow them to hell. These heathens are going to hell. These are heathens. They don't care about the law of the Most High. 1 John chapter 2, verse 3 to 6. By this we know that we know him if we keep his commandment. By this we know that we know him if we keep his commandment. Anyone that claims to know him but does not keep his commandment is a liar. It's time for us to stop lying to ourselves. We have to stop following our enemies. Proverbs 331. Proverbs 331. Envy not your oppressor and learn none of his ways. Envy not your oppressor and learn none of his ways. We have to stop eating turkey. Turkey is an unclean bird. Turkey is an unclean bird. It's not a coincidence that the Gentiles, the heathen, the Europeans have chosen turkey to be their bird on their so-called thanksgiving when they thank satan yeah they are thanking satan they are not thanking the most high because he says in proverb 28 verse 9 proverbs 28 verse 9 that he that turns their ear from hearing the law their prayer is an abomination you cannot ignore the law of the most high and then you claim that you know him first john 3 First John chapter 2, verse 3 to 6. By this we know that we know him if we keep his commandment. No, we have to stop eating turkey. Okay? No more eating turkey. You can eat goat meat. You can eat goat meat. You can eat goat meat. You can eat beef. If you live in America, if you live in America, I wouldn't advise you eating meat. Why? Because they pump all kinds of chemicals into those cows. They are forcing the cows in America to eat corn, GMO corn. Look into it. Look into it, okay? So we can eat cow. Cow is fine. We can eat cow. We can eat goat meat. We can eat, you can eat chicken, okay? But 
we cannot eat you can't eat cow if you live in america especially if you're a law keeper if you are a law keeper you should not okay don't be like everyone else don't join everyone else it's not a coincidence that these heathen have chosen turkey to be their uh, their meat for their so-called thanksgiving when they are thanking satan their father because if you're having a thanksgiving but you're not thanking the most high you're thanking satan yeah you are thanking satan these devils these infidels these heathens are thanking satan and they chose the meat that the most high does not want us to eat because turkey is after uh the kind of vulture we're not supposed to eat vulture and after its kind that's why you should not be eating turkey if you have any question feel free to contact me i thank our heavenly father for everything i know that majority of you that see this video i know you're not going to stop i know i know you're just going to laugh and you just you you will think that oh man this man is crazy sure no problem i know you're not going to stop i know you're going to continue eating turkey do whatever you want to do at the end of the day you will stand before your maker and you will give account of how you kept his laws he will judge you based on how you kept his laws and his commandment and christ will deny you because you ignore the laws and the commandment of your god so this is a warning for those of you who are humble for those of you who are who have humble spirit you are going to stay away from turkey and you are not going to die because you have other options you have other options other things you can eat stay away from turkey turkey is an unclean bird again like as i said for those of you who are law keepers if you live in america or europe don't eat beef because their cow is contaminated don't eat beef in america and heck don't even eat chicken in america don't even eat chicken in america go on youtube and find out how they are pumping chemicals inside these animals to make them grow larger and larger to produce more meat when you eat this meat the chemicals will end up in your body and will make you sick that's why americans are so sick that's why they are fat and sick because of all the chemicals that they are pumping into their food so you stay away from those uh, beef uh, cow is clean meat we can eat cow we can eat goat we can eat chicken but we cannot eat turkey and all the other birds uh, like kite uh, like um, like vulture, like uh, eagle. We cannot eat eagle. We cannot eat all the other meat. So that's basically it. If you have any question, feel free to contact, and I will try my best to get back to you as much as I can. Stay away from uh, from from Turkey. It's an unclean bird. If you have any question, feel free to contact. All praises to our heavenly Father. Thank you.